welcome to IBS CDC's course case map on quantitative methods. Firstly, I would like to thank you for choosing our course case map. Before I go on to describe the contents of this course case map, I would like to brief you about IBS CDC. We at IBS CDC write management case studies and are proud to be Asia Pacific's largest repository of business management case studies. You might wonder why course case map? Well, we took the initiative of doing course case maps as we advocate case method to teach management concepts. We believe that there is no better way to sensitize the students to real-time management situations and accompanying decision dilemmas. Coming back to the course case maps, the course on quantitative methods has been variously titled Statistics for Business, Business Statistics, Business Mathematics, Quantitative Methods for Managers, and Decision Science for Decision Makers. Irrespective of the title of the course, the case studies touch upon all the concepts under quantitative methods. The entire course case map has been predominantly mapped for the book by Richard I. Levin and David S. Rubin titled Statistics for Management. Another book which has been used for the course case map is Quantitative Analysis for Management by Barry Render, Ralph M. Steyer Jr. and Michael E. Hanna. The objectives of this course are to provide a formal quantitative approach to problem solving, to give an intuition for managerial situations where a quantitative approach is appropriate, to introduce some widely used quantitative methods and to introduce software for solving such models. The course case map offers a rich collection of case studies that can be effectively used to drive all the concepts. It includes a total of 23 cases and 19 teaching notes. Thus, with these IBS CDC cases, the entire course on quantitative methods can be taught. The course case map also lists some articles which are a must read, as well as some popular books for course on quantitative methods. Another interesting thing about the course case map is that it gives information such as background reading material or additional reading material for each and every case study. Our cases when discussed in class generated an overwhelming response. We hope that our cases on quantitative methods will generate similar responses in your classroom discussions as well. We also hope that our cases will help in delivering various concepts of the subject in an effective and a very lively manner. Here, I would like to bring to your notice that course case maps on other subjects are also available. These include managerial economics, organizational behavior, financial management, and marketing management. Also, the course case maps on operations research management and business research methods will soon be available. For any queries or suggestions, please log on to www.ibscdc.org. It will indeed be our pleasure to be of help. Hope you enjoy IBS CDC's course case maps.